Nicholas Okechuku and Matthew Irodonogu handled the cameras to catch President Jonathan, who was sparingly seen, which made him appear invincible, while the flags of the chief of state flapped and went still, depending on the wind, the president was locked up in the presidential wing of the Obudu Resort. Once upon a time, the cameras caught him doing the work. In company of Cross River State Governor Liel Imoke, other officials, and a sprinkle of the business community, his close associates. Savoring the breath of fresh air here, blowing across the lodge vegetation, would remind him of one of his campaign slogans. The songs of birds would help him brood over his diligence, politeness, and firmness to make a valid leader. The valleys and hills would remind him of the storms ahead in achieving the set obligations that the Jonathan Sambo ticket has taken upon itself to transform Nigeria. The snake-like roads along steep contours will be constant reminders of how to meander through power brokers constantly jostling for attention. And the clouds that the barriers and effective governors must be confronted. Residents around mirror the urge for social transformation by hewers of wood and fetchers of water, like plenty Nigerians, desiring smiles on their faces and laughter like those riding in cable cars to get in and out of the resort. The retreat is indeed a means to an end, a Nigerian system that is stable and predictable, as offered by this bureaucrat. We are very grateful that Mr. President can ask some federal permanent secretaries to join him. Uh, it is a mark of confidence on those of us who are in the federal civil service. And I believe that it's also a call on us as civil servants to show that uh, we are part of uh, his plans for the country and uh, that uh, it also underscores the fact that he wants to work closely uh, with those of us in the service and uh, it's it's a call on us for more hard work. It's been quite worthwhile. Going back home, President Jonathan, a man of conscience, will certainly take on him more than ever before to see all Nigerians as children of God, since Cross River State was indeed hospitable. I think it's important, you know, that uh, other Nigerians patronize this facility. And we must thank the president and his wife uh, for coming. Uh, they are, they are, I, I say to them uh, jokingly that they are, their visit here is the greatest marketing plan that anybody can have for a facility of this nature. And I think um, we're very appreciative, the people of Cross River State. I'm Ima Okondo.